All right, so in this video, we're going to do a little place value vocab practice. And here are four vocab words we're going to be going over. And if you look at those and you really don't know what they mean, I put a link in the description to my video where we uh, dive into those a little bit more with further explanation. So in this video, it's more of just practice with those vocab words. And as you see, we have 10 questions down here, or 10 numbers, I should say. And for each number, I'm going to ask about one of these four vocab words up top. So you have two options. You can use a piece of paper and go through with me and write these down, or just take mental note as we go through. I'll pause for about five seconds after I ask each question for you to either write down or think about your answer. Um, if you think you're going to need a little bit more than five seconds for each question, feel free to pause the video and then resume once you have your answer. All right, your goal should be either eight, nine, or 10 correct out of 10. If you're lower than that, you probably need to go back and review these words. All right, so let's hop into number one. So we have 457. Our first question is, what digit is in the tens place? What digit? And you should have five. You should not have a 50. A 50 is not a digit. Remember, a digit is 0 through 9, the symbols we use to create our numbers. So we have a 5 sitting in the tens place. All right, number 2, 60,982. What is the value of the 9? You should have... 900 is the value. How much the 9 is worth? All right, number three, 45 million. And if you're like, man, how's this guy reading these numbers so quick? I'll be doing a video on reading and writing uh, whole numbers as well. I'll put that link in the description. Um, if you need a little extra practice or you're just starting out to learn about it. Okay, so my question for number three is, what period is this four and five in right here? And that is the millions period. Remember, periods are the groups of three numbers separated by commas. So we have the ones period right here, thousands, millions and those periods go on forever okay but this one just goes to the millions number four what place is this underlined eight in remember know the difference between place and value all right that eight is in the ten thousands place If you put 80,000, you put the value, which is different from the place. All right, number five. What is the value of the underlined digit? The value of that underlined digit is 6,000. That six is worth 6,000. All right, let's go up to number six, and we have a 15 here. What place is the five in? And the five is in the ones place. All right, number seven, we have 3,900,458. What is the value of the three? And you should have three million. All right, number eight. What digit is in the hundreds place? For number eight, right here, 674. What digit is in the hundreds place? And you should have a 
Six. This guy right here is in the hundreds. Hopefully, we're on track for eight, nine, or ten correct right now. Two more to go. So number nine, let's do, um, what is the value of this seven, the underlying digit? What's the value of the underlying digit? And you should have 70 million. All right, last one. What period is this 55 in? What period is that in? And that is the billions period. Billions, right? Ones, thousands, millions, billions. All right, so hopefully you were at least 8 out of 10 correct, so 8, 9, or 10. Um, and if, like I said, if you need a little more uh, practice or instruction, click the link in the video where I go over all these vocab words. All right.